A blessed good evening. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus the Christ. Uh, my testimony today is to tell you all how good, how wonderful, how awesome, how loving, how merciful God is. You know, I grew up in church as a child with my parents. My parents passed along. I still continued going to church. Not every Sunday, but I continued going to church. I attended. And during attending church, I still had some struggles I had to deal with. You know, I had a mental brother. I still have a mental brother that I took care of, still taking care of, you know. And not only that, I had two sons. So the struggle that I was going through was real, you know. Being a single parent was really real. And I was introduced to the New Birth Church of God by a friend. You know, he invited me to the church, you know. He said, can't come. I want you to come up to this church with me. So okay. I took the invitation and I went. And when I went that Sunday, you know, it was a different feeling when I entered that church. A different feeling. It was a, a, I must lay it out feeling. I must tell it all feeling. That's the feeling I got, an overwhelming tell it all feeling, you know. And I started to cry. Mind you, this never happened to me. All the years I've been attending church never happened to me. And, you know, I saw Bishop Alan Marishaw and immediately I wanted to speak with him. You know, to let him know what I have been going through. And I said, I said to my friend, you know, I have to talk to that bishop. And he said, okay. And we made arrangements to, to see him, for him to meet and speak with me. And as I entered the doors, we had a little office in his office. I said, bishop, you know, at the time he was pastor. I said, pastor, I want one day of rest. And he said, daughter, I know where you're going through. I've seen your struggles. I've seen you, you know. And he said, listen, I want to introduce you to a one true king. And his name is Jesus, you know. And I said, Jesus, I know Jesus. I know, but I didn't know Jesus. I know the name Jesus, you know. And he said, let me pray for you. And he prayed with me. I woke up. I was when I woke up, I was lying on the ground. I was like self talking to myself now. I said, but what happened there? This has only happened on TV, you know, where people fall on the ground. I didn't even know what happened. You know, he said, daughter, you have been in bondage for so many years. And I was saying to myself, bondage. You know what you're talking about? I normal bondage is up to now. I know, I understand now what he meant, you know? And I said to myself, boy, this man, you know what you're talking about now? Bondage. Anyway, God is so good. I was not only in bondage, you know. I was not only shackled, you know. I was not only jailed, you know, but I was also buried. I was a walking dead. And I went dear for help not help for me you know but help for my brother you know and it so happened that god is so awesome i was delivered that very said day i was delivered through jesus christ using bishop alan marishaw to lay hands on me wow that feeling is an awesome feeling that feeling when you have been introduced to jesus is an awesome feeling you know and he said to me he said daughter hold on to jesus no matter what your struggles are you just hold on to christ he is the king he is the only one that can help you in your turmoil nobody else could help you anything that happens you turn to god and let him fix it for you he said the battle is already won now mind you again as i said i went there for my brother who is mental listen 
the power of God is working so awesome in this man, eh? This man of God, Bishop Alan Marichaud. He is truly special. I mean, we are all special. We are all special in God's eyes. But chosen, he is chosen by God. And I tell you, this man loves, loves. And I have never felt that way in my entire life. The kind of love, the kind of overwhelming love that I have felt in that church. I am now a member of the New Birth Church of God. See how I'm a Jersey? Now a member of the New Birth Church of God. Under the watchful, beautiful eyes of Bishop Alan Marish and his family. And God has anointed and appointed him to watch over each and every one of us. You know? Who attends the church and even those who are outside you know people who don't attend he, he goes all out for them and i am not saying that i am perfect i am not yes i did wrong yes i steal yes i fornicated yes i lied yes i used to smoke yes i used to drink yes i've done it all yes of course but as i said the lying part i still working on it you know and it's because of god that i can truly say that he is awesome that he loves each and every one of us you know and bishop i really want to thank you and your family today for that introduction that personal one-on-one -on -one, that lifeline to Christ. Thanks for guiding me to that lifeline and showing me that there's no other way but through Christ Jesus. You know, and I really, really want to tell you thanks for that. I must probably haven't said it enough, but today I'm saying it. Thank you and God bless you. And I'm going to still hold on. I'm still holding on to Christ. I'm still holding on. The struggles are real out there. Yes, I face struggles daily, but God, God said the battle is already won and I believe that and I'm holding God to that and I'm reminding him, God, you said the battle is already won. So this too that I am going through shall pass in Jesus name. And I want to say thanks once more. Hmm. I don't know how much time to say thanks, but Bishop, I love you. Love coming from my family to your family. May God continue to bless you and keep you. Keep you. Hold you. You know? And thank you. Thank you very much for that deliverance on that day. Many, many years ago. It's so like 14 years ago. Thanks for that deliverance on that day. And thank you for introducing me to Christ. This too, as you said, shall pass through Jesus Christ. Just trust and believe him. God bless you all and God keep you all. And hold on to Christ. Hold on and don't let go.